Today we're going to look at how to replace the stock strap on the Nitec Q with the aftermarket bungee strap. To do this, you need two Allen keys, a 1 16th and a 3 32nd, and a belt slide or cord. Step one is to take the 1 16th sized Allen key and use it to remove the four screws that hold the plastic plate on the back of the Nitec Q. As you can see, the buttons are not held in place by anything other than the backing and there are two small springs that are held in place as well. We'll get to how to replace these here in just a minute. In order to remove the stock strap, take the 332nd Allen key and use it to remove the four screws holding the strap in place. The next step is to take the machined bungee mounts and place them on the back of the Nitec Q using the screws from the original bungee mount to lock them in place. Once the machined pieces for the new mount are in place, it's time to replace the buttons if you remove them or if they popped free upon disassembly. These pieces here have a molded slot directly underneath them. Place the spring as such, and with the button angled like this, push the spring in and lock the button in place. At this point, take the machine backing, put it back in place, and using the four retaining screws and the 1 16th Allen key, lock it down. At this point, take the bungee, insert it, through the holes in the machine bungee mount, Tie a knot and repeat on the opposite side uh, with whatever length bungee fits your wrist, uh, ensuring that there is ample slack for the exposure suit uh, that you'll be wearing when you actually go diving. I mentioned the belt slide earlier because this is the preferred tool when removing or replacing the USB uh, plug. Uh, 